Welcome, everybody, to Midday Magazine for this October 24th, 2024. Have your host, James J. Mailoff here. In part two today, we're going to speak with our friend Jackie L. Carantini, Associate Professor with UW Extension. Right now in studio, our friends, our family, Family Natural Foods. We got Stephen and Katrina Hittner with us today. Gang, how you guys doing? Hey, hey, good. good. Doing good? All right. Good. Everything's All right. going good. Good to have you guys with us. Uh, appreciate the time. There is so much going on over there. Where do you want to start? Oh, we've got a couple different things going on. So mm. let's highlight our presentation coming up because it's on Tuesday, yep. this coming Tuesday, October 29th at 515 at Family Natural Foods. So this one's going to be fun. We, we've briefly mentioned it. We're going to just highlight it again. Um, it's a panel discussion. Yeah. First time we're doing this. Yeah, we always get so many questions at some of our talks. And sometimes people are asking questions that aren't really on the topic. Mm -hmm. You know, mostly they are. But, mm -hmm. you know, at the same time, it's like, hey, that's fine. You get, like, you get somebody in front of you who you're like, hey, they have good information. Yes. Just ask them whatever you need to know at the time. And so we're like, why don't we do this for a whole presentation, presentation basically. So we really want people, and that's why we're on the radio today, um, to, to sit down and be like, hey, what would I like to ask? Mm -hmm. Write a couple notes down, even yeah. right now, or, you know, in the next, you know, week, basically. Mm -hmm. And um, when you come in on Tuesday for the presentation, you can you can just ask us, and mm -hmm. we'll um, we'll answer whatever we can. Yeah, and there's going to be fun. a couple different, uh, a few of us um, doing the the presentation. You know, we have a registered nurse on staff. We have two different herbalists, and then like everybody else is their own expert in different things and have for studied sure. different you know medical technologies and we have we have a great array of different folks when you think of like our combined knowledge like the years of experience and mm -hmm. then you add it up it's like quite a brain trust yes. and so to get more than one of us up there at a time you've got like a lot of you're like crowdsourcing some good knowledge yeah um, and we all like crowdsourcing stuff. That's what we do when we go to Google. We're crowdsourcing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this but, is a live crowdsource. But this is a live yes. crowdsource, and it's it's a little more verified. I'd at least like to think so. Um, you know, you yep. go to Google, and who knows? You go down rabbit holes that mm -hmm. aren't, aren't always that accurate. Yep. And you got to find the right sources. It's kind of tiring sometimes. Well, but and in this, this is, way, you don't have to yep. spell the word correctly. Like that, <laughs> yeah, that really right? helps. It really right, helps a right? lot. <laughs> try to try to say it right. Yes. <laughs> right, right. Well, and I close think, enough. For it, fine. I think what's so nice about this is, um, you know. It's not just asking one person a question, it's multiple of us. So let's say you ask a question about, um, let's say like immune health and how to benefit your immune system going into the season. Well, you might get Steven's perspective, but you also might get Jamie's or Kelly's perspective on it as well. Yeah. So it's it's really like a different angle. And we all come from it at a different angle. So it's you're getting this this brain trust, like Steven's saying. Yeah. So I think it'll be really great. When I've been to panel discussions before, what I also like about it is people ask questions I never thought to ask. Yes. And so it's not always my question that actually is the most interesting or that I even value the most. It's like, hey, Katrina asked this question. I never thought to ask. That's great. I could, I'd like to know more about immune health too. Like, mm -hmm. bring it on, right? Um, and I think looking back, we've done panel discussions a couple of times. And our biggest turnout probably ever outside of maybe Terry Natural talking. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Maybe Mike Hittner rivaled it too. He yep. did a pretty good it's job. True. Um, but you know, in the top three, let's call it for presenters was when we did a panel discussion year, like a few years ago and we had three different people on the panel again and, and folks just came out for it. They were all about it. So mm -hmm. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, we're really excited. Bring to, questions. But if you don't yeah. have a question, that's okay. Because you're going to, like Stephen said before, you're going to learn something from somebody else question and if we might add in a few other details on sure. you know maybe it's immune health or we might talk a little bit on essential oils so um yeah we're we've got some like ideas if we need to like fill start some questions you know get people warmed up yes i think we're going to do a little bit of like it, we're kind of theming around fall but really what that means is like cold and flu season mm -hmm. yep. um so the and, and a little bit on essential oils which falls yep. into that too overlap so you know if you're interested in like cold and flu stuff and um, maybe a little bit about essential oils, that's also a reason to come because I'm sure that's going to come up through the questions or just through our own prompts. Yeah, absolutely. When uh, when it comes to, you know, studying, interviewing and, and, and prepping for this job, uh, one of the things that I, I it took me a while to learn was the, the greatest questions are usually not the ones that you prep and that you have prepared. Mm -hmm. uh, it's usually the basic question, hey, where are you from? Mm -hmm. And that spawns off a million yeah. great questions. Yes. Whoa, you're from there? I've never met anybody mm -hmm. from there and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. 
So bring the your just bring your brain yeah. and, and and bring some you know an open mind and and look forward to you know probably having some questions pop up in your head from what you're hearing from others. Yes. Somebody else may have a question that you think of. Well, that's sort of what I'm curious about, but I would just want to make it uh, you know fine tune it a little bit to me. Mm-hmm. Um, and like you guys said, uh, the knowledge you're going to get could be as uh, useful in a, m- a million different categories that you may not even be thinking of right now. Yeah, absolutely. That's quite a comment for probably a guy who asks more questions than a kindergartner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's good. Throughout, a, that's throughout good. the day, you know, I don't think there's anybody who asks more questions in Wisconsin Rapids than James does. I think you got me on that oh, one. Yeah. That, that, oh, man, oh, that's a good one. That's, that's a good. great line. Seth, you might have to take that line, I feel like. I'm marking use that. It. I'm use marking that. that. Yes, yes. 515. Uh, <laughs> uh-huh. So, yeah, it's going to be on October 29th at 515, and it's going to be our panel discussion. So come with questions, but if you don't have questions, come anyways because it's fun and you'll learn something. It's, it was at about 515 he said that, too. Uh-huh. <laughs> so that's awesome. That, yeah, that, 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 there are no Definitely. coincidences. That's great. We'll be talking about this uh, this panel discussion. We'll be encouraging uh, people to attend and making mm-hmm. sure that you guys get a good crowd for it. Yeah, well, if there isn't enough questions, we'll just have James and a kindergartner come. Yep. We'll Absolutely. Get, for yes, sure. yeah. yes. They'll fill the void. Uh, and be on the lookout because I'm starting to work with them behind the scenes of it. Also <laughs> incorporating a Simpsons. A neat, because you guys got your bases covered yeah, when right. it comes yep. to health and the human body. Yep, what yep. if somebody asks a Simpsons question? That would be you. That, that would that be you. You, you want to go mm-hmm. to the resource for this. Yeah. Yes. Just saying, you know, maybe next panel discussion <laughs> okay, to have okay. me out yeah, there. Yeah, it's a little too late to ask you now, but, you know, really, <laughs> yeah. we should have thought of that <laughs> yeah, earlier. Yeah, we're already thinking. Stephen and Katrina putting up with me here on Midday Magazine uh, joining us. Uh, where would you like to yeah, go next? Yeah, so Katrina? I just want to do the reminder of the turkey sign-up. Mm-hmm. So Thanksgiving is, is coming yes. up. Time to talk turkey. Gobble, talk gobble. Turkey. Um, November 16th is the deadline for signing up for turkeys. Um, we're, we're excited to have, you know, these fresh Wisconsin local turkeys. Um, they're coming in fresh. They're good. There's no home runs, no antibiotics in it. You know that you're going to get a tur- good turkey. And we have the reason why you know this is the people that buy these turkeys every year. They come back every year after year after oh, yeah, year. I mean, people have been doing this for 20 years 20 or more. plus years and they're buying these turkeys. So that right there speaks to it. And yeah. so come sign up for your turkey and the deadline is November 16th for that mm-hmm. one. What is it about these turkeys that people come keep coming back for, Katrina? I think it's just that they trust and know that it's a, it's a cleaner bird, right? It's it's raised outside. It's, you know, free range running it around. Tastes better they taste too, better. For all those reasons. Yeah. 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 More yeah. Flavorful, but then you can trust that there's not the, you know, the gunk put inside of them, like the hormones and the animals. <clears throat> I spent my whole life eating maple syrup the same way we all do from the store and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was only about 10 years ago or so that I actually had like a homemade oh maple gosh. syrup. I've never gone back. Mm-hmm. It, it, there's no, it's it's completely different. Yep. I can't enjoy the old, the, the no, store-bought stuff. Can't. I can't mm-hmm. do it. Well, now you need to also harvest your own maple syrup. So you really oh, appreciate God, I it. Oh God, I want to do that. Mm-hmm. I, re- I literally want to do that like right now. That'd be a fun um, remote <laughs> broadcast. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, it would. I'd be doing. I'd do that. Yeah, in like out, out in the the woods somewhere. I'm sure there's a lot of maple and syrup. And now farmers. we're tapping into the tree and yeah. then the, 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 dripping down. You'd really have to describe every oh, yeah. detail of it, but that oh, would be. Yeah. Really I'd fun. so do it though. I'd love to. It, but it, to that example though, uh, I've heard a lot of people reference the turkeys this mm-hmm. way that they've yeah. had turkey their whole life a certain way. Once you try these turkeys, there's no going back. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you want to try these turkeys, sign up by November 16th, um, and we will get you on that list. Mm-hmm. Uh, last sweet thing we want to talk about is Halloween. Yeah. Um, nice. So it's quick, just a quick thing. You know, we all, it's typically the holiday where we're handing out candy and that's completely fine. Um, mm-hmm. There's clean candy options that we have at the store yeah. if anybody's looking for no that. No crazy red dye number mm-hmm. whatever that makes <laughs> yeah, your yeah. kids hyperactive. Yeah, mm-hmm. the next like day or, slash um, month that you have. Some yeah. that are, yeah. yeah, some stuff we've got has like honey as a sweetener, mm-hmm. you know, like all sorts of fun Halloween's options. on a Thursday. I mean, you got you got Friday to worry about yes, as parents exactly. and everything. Yeah, yeah. The, the, anything with less sugar sounds like exactly. a good call. Exactly, yeah. So um, we have that. I mean, if you want to be really creative, you could think of other things too. Or I Like for me, I don't have a ton the kids that come to our house so i maybe spend a little bit more because i don't need as many yeah. so if you're somebody like that maybe you end up buying like a meat stick or something like that and divvy that out you could be yeah, a little bit more jerky. that's a great creative. idea oh yeah. i wish i would have come into the cross, cross that when i was right a kid. Yeah. Well, great. and i a little so beef jerky be good for the kids i remember trick-or-treating and when we would trick-or-treat um in some of the subdivisions there was one house we always hit up and it was a dentist and they gave out 
they gave out toothbrushes. And I thought it was super clever. That is cool. You know, as a kid, you're like, oh, toothbrush, whatever. But I would always be like, sweet, I got a new toothbrush. And like, (laughs) we all know we're going to need it now. Like, really need it. Mm -hmm. So um, just wanted to highlight that we have different options. Um, We could brainstorm even more, but just wanted to let people know that there's other clean options for that. Yeah, we get a lot of people stopping in this time of year because they're kind of like, how can I do this better? Mm -hmm. How can I do this a little differently? And Mm -hmm. um, you talk to Katrina, you always get some good good alternative well, ideas we're all mm-hmm. here for the ideas yes it's all yep. here um so we wanted to just do a quick little pivot on talking a tiny bit about immune we've talked about this product before it's called lactoferrin it's a newer product from terry natural our friend over in green bay so lactoferrin is they're combining two different things propolis which is one of my absolute favorite products from terry especially for kids health it's good for like ear aches, ear health. It's good for deep immune. It's good for like respiratory. It's good for candida and different viruses. Like it's amazing product and it's in a chewable form or capsule. Yeah. And propolis, just so people who haven't heard the word before, is the, for bees, you know, they, they all live together. Basically propolis is the immune system for the hive. It's the collective immune system. It's what keeps them protected and safe. And so it's not actually made by the bees, but it's collected by the bees. So the bees collect these different, um, basically it's a lot of rosins from trees. Like yes, like pines. Like pine, like mm-hmm. kind of maybe sap. I don't know what it is, but they, they collect all these things in nature, kind of like their own little herbalist. You got these these bees with their, you know, great wisdom. Bees are really amazing things. Yes, they're incredible. Amazing little creatures can't live without them no we can't they pollinate Um, all of our things so james right now is crunching down on a lactoferrin sample that's got the propolis and the lactoferrin um and what are you thinking of it i love it it doesn't have a chalk feel to it Mm -mm. no No, like a lot of things like this too Mm -hmm. um and it's very easy to chew yeah it's a very easy chew but with a a nice berry is there a berry it's a berry flavor yep yep Yep. i didn't even explain that to you yeah good mixed berry flavor so yeah it's a it's a good one most kids like it my kids love it oh yeah it's great we had like a parent who was in and they were like oh what could i use and i was like well we have this sample if you want to try it Mm -hmm. so they're like her kids were with her at the time so she's like yeah let's do that because you know like every parent they're like should I buy this if my kids Will are they not going like to like it? it. Yeah. Um, and the kids loved it, and she bought a bottle. And and like Katrina said, I really haven't found it. I really haven't found anybody who doesn't like these. They they're just really they're really good. And the other thing, you know, for parents to know, um, there's a you know whole craze about gummy vitamins, um, which you know maybe have a place. But I, long story short, I'm usually not a big fan of them. Um, these are sweetened with you know like xylitol. Um, and and different natural sweeteners, so there's you're not going to get a bunch of sugary stuff. Mm-hmm. Probably good for your you know your mouth and gum health. Yeah. Um, because actually the the propolis that's in there would help kill bad bacteria. Mm-hmm. Um, that's kind of what the again those bees collect to protect their hive mm-hmm. uh, and their hive's immune system. Basically, it's really interesting. And the lactoferrin, um, just to explain what that is, is kind of like. Um, like colostrum, it's it's similar to colostrum, or it's derived mm-hmm. from colostrum. It's more mm-hmm. concentrated, yep. basically, um, than colostrum, so you don't need as much of it. Um, but that's you know, like in any mammal, the first milk um, provides a lot of immunity to the young mammal. Um, so, like in a cow's case, which is where this comes from, is cow's milk. Um, it would provide some immunity to the young calf, and so. You know, lactoferrin is a really great thing to build up your immune system. You could take it, you know, in the when you're in the middle of having a cold, but I think you know you could also take it, and it work great for preventing and building up your immune system ahead of time. And it seems to me to be one of this formula, like Katrina said, having used it with her kids from a young age, mm-hmm. it seems like one of the safest things and gentlest, yet yes. yet comprehensive for your whole immune system products you could take. And it's always cool when you find natural things that are gentle like mm-hmm. this. That doesn't mean they're ineffective. I would use it as an adult. Actually, yeah. Katrina's first experience yeah. as an adult, obviously. Yeah, a couple um, years ago notable. when Terry came out with just the propolis and chewable, I was at a conference and I had kind of like this ear, nose, throat thing going on. I'm like, oh, should I even go to the conference? And I decided to go. Mm. And they gave us a sample right when we came in of a bottle. And I was like, okay, I'm going to... I'm going to do this. I'm going to mm-hmm. do this well. Mm-hmm. So I took like five of the chewables within 
two hours and I was significantly better with mm. after those two hours. Yeah, wow. Just because I, I pumped it a little heavier, mm-hmm. but it targets ear, nose, throat. Like that mm. is one of its best things. Mm-hmm. And how many kids have ear, nose, throat issues when they have a cold? So this is one that I, when my kids are sick, I don't feel bad giving them a little extra of it mm. because it really boosts. And like Stephen was saying, it's a very safe and effective product. Well, and to know? hear how quickly it can help, yeah. uh, how quickly it can uh, work. That's yeah, great. Absolutely. <laughs> so very cool product. Um, you know, if we have some samples of it, we'll, we're happy to let you try some. <laughs> yeah, bring uh, your kids in. Mm-hmm. Then you'll know, you know, or bring yourself in. It's not only for kids, certainly. Um, for the whole family Mm -hmm. Um, and oh the other thing I forgot to mention too is this chewable form one of the advantages is it has an an enhanced absorption um, Mm. with this gamma absorb technology Mm. that that Terry's been working with it's a natural thing obviously as well but it helps it absorb even better so you don't you don't actually need as much as you know, you probably don't even need five of them. No, nope, probably you, don't. It would be safe and fine, <laughs> but you, you know, it's perfectly fine to do that. Katrina was doing a really gun ho, a really good experiment, and and it worked. Um, but you know, probably two or three would be plenty for an adult. Yeah, yeah. yeah good yeah, to absolutely. know, and, and yeah. especially this time of year, perfect thing to bring up this time yeah, of year. Absolutely. Mm. So now we're going to pivot over to um, collagen and mm. something called Biosil, which is a collagen generator. It's it's actually derived from from silica. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So we wanted to highlight it. So like, right, collagen, we've heard a lot about and how beneficial it is. Um, and I have a sample that I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to let James taste. It's a flavor. It's a, a berry one. Okay. Most collagen things that I've heard and seen are mostly in pills or in a, a, a dripper or, or something. I haven't seen one uh, that you drink uh, before. Yeah. Yep. This, this company is Nature's Plus and they have a lemonade, I believe is this flavor. Yeah. Kind of um, lemonade collagen and but, it's a multi-collagen. So it comes from like four different sources. Yeah. Um, so you get like a, all the broad benefits of collagen with this. Mm-hmm. More. <laughs> More. <laughs> All right. Get, that was really good. That's tasty. Yeah. Like yeah. if you like that lemonade, really, you're going to love it. I mean, yeah. yeah. And so if you want a flavor, that's great. But a lot of people like to add collagen just to their everyday life. Mm-hmm. So collagen is often being added to like coffee and things like that. Yeah, definitely. And what collagen's known for is that it's really good for hair, skin, nails, joint health, digestive issues. It kind of heals the gut line, <coughs> um, the gut brain, gut lining um and so it's bone health yeah there's a a long it's a lot of different things but we want to pivot over to its cousin no it's friend silica (laughs) that's more of a so this is coming this is a collagen and it's it's going to help you know go into the bones and really um build up help your skin etc but we're going to pivot over to um silica which is a collagen generator Mm. yeah so this bio cell is a really cool product it's um like Katrina said, it's a collagen generator. So your body has the capacity to build, to make its own collagen. Mm -hmm. Um, So you don't necessarily have to take collagen, but as we get older, you might want the benefits of more collagen, like, you know, less wrinkles, fuller hair. um, Better nails. Better nails. You know, Mm -hmm. those are the things I'm always looking for in life. for sure. Um, (laughs) And uh, I I have a friend who uh, a couple years back started taking uh, something similar to this. And and, uh, he did it because he wanted it. He was worried about losing hair Mm -hmm. uh, and and everything. Mm -hmm. Um, And uh, when I talked to him like about a month or two months later or something, we're working on a sketch. He's talking and all he's raving about is how his joints, he's getting out of bed in the morning, Mm -hmm. like jumping out of bed. And he hasn't done that since he was a teenager. Yeah, uh, He's a little older than I am and, and has just been blown away by this. He's still taking it and he could care less about his hair well probably cares a little bit but yeah yeah it's more about like what it's done for his joints and everything i wouldn't have known that until he said something about it i I don't think this is as common knowledge as uh you know some people might think it's a great one to bring up that's sort of like the side benefits and i always Mm -hmm. love finding products like college and katrina just like listing off things like a long i don't know like encyclopedia over here of what this stuff's good for for. yeah and um that's the that's the really great thing about collagen so maybe you start taking it for like me like for vanity but then you end up with great joints yeah, um, yeah. it's a win-win and, and you're like you know you're able to get out of bed a little easier in the morning and, and this happens more and more with yeah. uh natural products than with anything that you find oh, yeah. in your average store it's mm-hmm. one of the reasons why we encourage you to check out things at family natural foods it's one thing to get more bang for your buck with your product it's a whole other when the product itself is mm-hmm. able to do more right um uh, or orga- uh, products that are, are man-made just don't uh, or don't tend to do that very often they are one trick pony that hey you're buying it for this it helps with this 
this yeah. and that's about it. And about it, except for all the side effects, yes, which is exactly. like an encyclopedia of its own. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, instead of an encyclopedia of good things, it's mm-hmm. a you know a negative encyclopedia. They ramped off really quickly at the end of a commercial. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the, the the interesting thing about bio cells. So some people maybe it just doesn't work for the routine or they're traveling or whatever. They don't they don't want to use the powders. You know, the plain powder, the unflavored you mix with coffee mm-hmm. maybe or whatever you want to mix it with your smoothies or these flavored ones like you tried that that taste really good so in a capsule form the trick with college is you need to get a lot of it you probably have to take a handful of capsules Mm -hmm. you know grams of it a day um an ounce maybe Um, but the nice thing about these this collagen generator from biocell is you only need to take one or two capsules a day Mm -hmm. really convenient really easy um and what's special about it is it's uh, clinically proven. It says that right on the front of the box. Uh, clinically proven collagen generator. So this is a product that was developed, I think, in Belgium. It's a European product anyways. Mm. And they had done a lot of clinical research. And I just opened the box again to rem- rem- like to see if this is still true, because it usually is. They have this little slip of paper in here. And you can unfold it, and it talks about the clinical results That's cool. Um, yeah. with their product. So if you want to improve your bone density or your joint health, you can read this little piece of paper and find out how many how many capsules you need to take for how many weeks. You know they uh, believe in the product when they're yep. including that kind of thing in every every box. Okay. That's that's very cool. For the science pe- people like things that are proven and scientifically proven. I yeah. love this product. So yeah. worth it's checking cool. out. It's on sale for um, a couple more, you know, another week or so. And hmm. I just want to say that Steven said bone density. It helps with bone density. That's mm. huge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gigantic. Mm-hmm. Not a lot of things do that either. Plus all the other things, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, want to remind everybody one more time about the panel discussion coming yeah. up yep, next that's week. That's going to be Tuesday at 5.15. That's Tuesday. Tuesday, October 29th at 5.15. And be sure to join our friends at Family Natural Foods for that and all your other needs. 910 West Grand Avenue right here in Wisconsin Rapids. Give them a call. 715-423-3120-423-3120. Bookmark their fantastic webpage, familynaturalfood.com. And be sure to follow them on social media. It's a great follow, great way to keep up to date on the things in your community. Uh, both of you, thank you so much for the time. Appreciate yeah, you. Thank, thank you. you. We'll be back with more show right here on Midday Magazine at 97.5 FM, 1320 AM, WFA. HR, locally grown radio.